This is blind. He sees. But right here, there's nothing. The soul has, is empty. Uh, Al-qalb is empty. It's dead. Qalb is sick, diseased. Therefore, can't see. Even if you see, how many people you see walking, jumping, doing all kinds of things, using their eyes, but they're blind on the truth. Millions. So, then Allah is telling us the eyes are okay, but the, but the heart is blind. إِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَ الْأَبْصَارِ وَلَكَنْ تَعْمَ الْقُلُوبِ الْقَلْبِ أَعْمَى قَلْبِ means heart in the Arabic language. قَلْبِ means heart. أَعْمَى means blind. قَلْبِ أَعْمَى إِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَ الْأَبْصَارِ وَلَكَنْ تَعْمَ الْقُلُوبِ لَتِي فُصْلُدُونَ الْقَلْبِ أَعْمَى So, قَلْبِ أَعْمَى He's got a blind heart. What does that mean? The problem is this. The problem is Allah requires us in the dunya to not have a blind heart. Just as you don't want to have a blind vision, you do not want to have a blind heart, and you cannot have a blind heart. Why? Because of a very dangerous thing. If you have a blind heart now, if you are blind-hearted in this dunya, you will be worse off. You'll be more blind in the akhirah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَمَنْ كَانَ فِي هَذِهِ أَعْمَى فَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ أَعْمَى وَأَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا Ah, yes, very clear. Who is blind in this dunya? Allah is telling us. Whoever is blind, whoever has a blind heart in this dunya, and is blind, it cannot see the truth, then, فَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ أَعْمَى فِي الْآخِرَةِ He's more blind. أَعْمَى More blind. وَأَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا More misguided. When well, he lost the dunya, and he lost the akhirah. The dunya is the akhirah. The dunya is the qam of akhirah. Lost, lost the dunya, lost the truth, therefore in the akhirah he's totally lost. And therefore, he's more blind in the Akhirah, and he's more misguided. That's why you have to have what? The heart cannot be blind. The heart cannot be blind. Some people have blind visions, but their hearts are not blind. <coughs> and some people have both. Therefore, the poet says, إِنَّ لِلْعَارِفِينَ عُيُونَ تَرَى مَا لَا يَرَاهُ النَّافِرُونَ those who, the pious scholars of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have uyun, they have eyes that can see what those people with their eyes, what other people with their eyes cannot see. They see with their hearts, they don't see with their eyes. See? Therefore, and you, most of you know this event, that some al mentioned. A man comes to Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anh, and he was the Khalifa. And a man has just committed adultery. Then he comes to the measures of Khalifa. Assalamu alaikum, ya Amir al Mu'mineen. And a narrator say, and this is a khabar. So. A narrator say, they say, uh, Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu said to him, Wa alayka salam, ayadukul rajul ala Amir al Mu'mineen. A man comes to Amir al Mu'mineen, to the measures of Amir al Mu'mineen, and the smell of adultery is between his eyes. And says, the man replies right back, he says, Awa nubu'atum ba'da Muhammad ya Uthman? Is there a prophecy after Muhammad Uthman? What, what is this? You have Jibreel coming and telling you? In a rude way. Awa nubu'atum ba'da Muhammad ya Uthman? He says, la, wayhaq. Oh, no, it's not nubu'at. But haven't you heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, ittaqo barasat al-mu'min. Be careful of the light of al-mu'min or of the intelligence of al-mu'min because he sees with the nur of Allah. No, I know you read, but this is, this is why. Because Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu was seeing with what? With the heart. Because their souls and their spirits and their metaphysical, the metaphysical vision was very strong because they fed their soul. You know, just like we feed our bodies. How many times a day? Three, three times? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? That's how we feed our body. But the soul is not fed. No breakfast, no lunch, no dinner. The soul needs also food, just like the body needs food. And if you strive that soul from food, which is, This is the food of soul. But this is another topic, we don't want to get into this. But if you don't feed your soul, then the soul dies. Just like the body dies if you don't feed it. And then once it dies, see what the Yahud said, Wolf means, our qulub, our hearts, are so blind, they're so dark, 
They're covered with sheets and layers and layers of things that nothing can penetrate them. That's it. Totally surrounded. Covered. Blind, Blind eye. And those people who look with their hearts, those people who have reached this level, they see things with their hearts. And here is another event that some narrators mentioned in the Siyah. In the Khilafah of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu wa rahmah, in the time of this Khilafah, Sayyidina Ali ibn al-Mumani radiallahu anhu saw a dream. And in that dream, he saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Sayyidina Ali is saying, he said, I saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after Salat al-Fajr. I went to his masjid. After the Fajr, we finished the prayer. A woman comes with a plate of dates. Okay, beautiful dates. And gives them to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. said, Ya Rasulullah, give this to your companions. And Sayyidina Ali is saying, I was with the Prophet right next to him. In the dream. And the Prophet sallallahu takes one day and gives it to Ali. He says, here, take he said, Sayyidina Ali said, when I tasted the date and took it and ate it, I have not, it's like I have never ate anything, I have never eaten anything as sweet. <coughs> it's a date that I've never tasted like in my whole life. That's for someone who lives in that area. And basically their whole life was not like nowadays. We eat meat and rice and everything. No, what was their life? Yogurt and dates. This was their, their, their diet. This is how they lived. This is the household. Like, this is another topic. Now, Sayyidina Ali said, continues, he said, Ya Rasulullah, O oh, Prophet of Allah, this is so sweet. Give me another one, please. And he said, the Prophet Sallallahu took another one and put it in my mouth. And he said, the, the second one is even sweeter than the first one. He said, I, I couldn't resist. I said, Ya Rasulullah, give me another one. And he said, I heard then, the Mu'addin is calling for Fajr Adhan. Allahu Akbar, Allah, I woke up. I, this dream was stopped. The Khilafah of Umar radiallahu anhu, so he goes, makes wudu, he goes out to the salah and prays Sayyidina Umar, of course, the Imam. After that, they come out of the salah and he said, I was thinking of telling Sayyidina Umar, of telling Umar what happened to me. But then, all of a sudden, while I'm contemplating this thought, a woman comes and tells Sayyidina Umar, Ya Amir al mumin take this plate, plate, of, plate of dates and give it to your companions. What a coincidence. I just saw that in a dream. Now a woman comes to Umar radiallahu anhu and tells him, here's a plate of date, give it to your companions. I said, I told him, the Sayyidina is saying, why don't you give me one? He said, Sayyidina Umar, give it He said, I tasted it. It's the same taste, the same sweet that the Prophet sallallahu gave me in my dream. And then Sayyidina Ali said, Ya Amir al give me one more. Because it's, he said he took the second one and then the second one was sweeter than the first one, just like his dream. And then he said, I couldn't help it but to ask him for the third one. He said, Ya Amir al give me another one. He said, If Rasulullah had given you another one, I would have given you. <laughs> this is among the narrations. What does that tell you if you want to benefit out of this? It tells you that these people have went, have gone beyond the limit of what? Of that physical thing that I see with my eyes, seeing is believing, remember they say these things? This is of course false. Because who has a blind heart, who doesn't have an open heart, a clean heart, will have a blind heart, will be misguided in the dunya, will be misguided in the akhirah. And therefore, what are we supposed to do, O Allah, then? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ قَلْبَ Blind heart? No. Illa man Allah bi qalbin salim. Then the kind of heart that you have, not blind, not qalb a'ma. Wa man kana fi hadhi a'ma fa huwa fi al-akhati a'ma udhalu sabila. And then you go to, huh? Inna la ta'ma al-afsar wa la ta'ma al-qulub al-qalb a'ma. Then what are we supposed to do? What kind of qalb are we supposed to have? We're supposed to have qalb salim. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is supposed to have qalb salim. We're 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 supposed to have qal
يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون. And the day of judgment, man and banoon and sons and money is not going to help. But what's going to help for Allah? إلا one exception. من أتى الله who goes to Allah that day بقلب سليم. He has a قلب سليم. قلب means heart. سليم means pure. Healthy heart. Huh? What does that mean? That means the heart is not blind. The heart is not blind. Because a healthy heart cannot be blind. Oh, so the heart sees. Then the second question that we have to go and we have to ask Allah. Oh Allah, okay, now we know. We cannot have a blind heart. We cannot have, we have to have qalb salim, not qalb a'ma. But how do we have qalb salim? Where do